Good morning, children. Now let's come back to studies after the puja holidays. So this is my first class of hospitality management after the holidays, and I begin with a new topic: different departments in a hotel. And we will go through the major departments: that is, food and beverage service, front office, accommodation operations, etc. So let's begin. First, we begin with the major revenue earning departments in a hotel. Now, as we all know, the hotel has been set up to earn profits. So, for this matter, there are certain departments in the hotel which will help the hotel to earn maximum amount of money, while there are some departments. Which look after the functioning of the hotel, that is the management part. So, if we look at the major revenue-producing departments of a hotel, these would be the rooms department, the rooms department, and followed by that. The rooms department is mainly concerned with the actual sale of rooms, and this will definitely include housekeeping. That is, those personnel or those staff members in a hotel who look after the cleanliness and see to that the rooms are in good condition when the Guest step in. That is, it is clean. So behind the scene, the housekeeping staff help the hotel management to earn revenue by seeing that all facilities that a guest must get in his room is there. And at the same time, we see along with the housekeeping department, the front office. That is the lobby. The personnel in the lobby, they are also actively involved in selling of rooms and come in direct contact with the guests because they are the ones who will tell as to what all facilities are available and how, what all, what all way a hotel in a, their hotel can help the guests who check in. So keeping this in mind. So the major revenue earning departments in a hotel would be the rooms department, which needs personnel from the front office and the housekeeping staff. Followed by this, we have the next one: food and beverage service. Now we all know these are the departments which are concerned with the production of food and their sale in the hotel. This would include kitchens, bakery, confectionery, stores, pantry. So here, all the total preparation of the items, which is sold in the different restaurants of a hotel, are taken care of. So storage of raw materials, as how to finish the final dish. All is taken care of by the food and beverage department. This service includes the different outlets that is there in the hotel, and which is sold to the guests, and would be restaurants. Generally, what we find is that these restaurants have fixed hours of service. They're not, and but some of, but sometimes we find there are coffee shops which are open 24 hours a day. And for this reason, mainly in a coffee shop, we find beverages and snacks. Heavy meals are generally not served during lunch and dinner in a coffee shop, which has a very informal atmosphere. And mostly plated service means everything is laid out on a plate for the guests. The bar, another section of the hotel, serves alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. Along with snacks, and a permit has to be taken before a hotel is allowed to open a bar, and it is operates 
fixed hours or there are fixed timings. Then we have room service where 24 hours what we find in a major hotel, the guests are accessible to food. That is, we find that the guest rooms in large hotels, they can order for food which will be delivered to the room 24 hours throughout the day and night. And lastly, one of the most profitable sections of the hotel is the banquet hall, which is managed by the food and beverage department. It is a major revenue producing department and, include, and or helps to organize dinners, lunches, weddings, parties, conferences, meetings, which and through this way, the hotel is able to earn a huge amount of revenue. Now we move on in detail about the next section that is the front office. The front office is divided further into small units. To begin with we have the reservation unit. All booking requests are received and processed here. Booking, confirmation as to whether rooms will be allotted or not to the guests, cancellations, prior arrangement of guest arrival, all this is there with the reservation section. And it is located just behind the front desk or could be located in back office in large hotels. This next part of the front office is the reception, which is responsible for the guests to meet them on their arrival, to welcome them on their arrival. And this is headed by a senior receptionist and his or her team, which would include executives. The registration of guests during check-in and efficient dealing with situations which may arise at the counter are taken care of by the reception staff. Followed by that, we have the information center. The main function is to maintain an alphabetic guest list, to receive messages from resident guests, handle guest mail, provide important information to the guests, about the house facilities or any event that is happening in the hotel or the city. Then the other small or minor department in the front office would be the cashier who is responsible for handling the guest bills and final settlement either by cash, credit card or any other form for the entire stay in the hotel. The expenses generally made by the guests in a hotel would be room tariff, food and beverage service charges or any other facilities which have been utilized by the guest during his stay. And this is fully recorded or take or accounted for in the cashier's cabin. So all guest charges and credits on the master bill are fully added up and given to the guests uh, when, and when they, on the, on the, okay, or when they go, move, go for departure. This is responsible for exchanging foreign currency and it also has a safe deposit locker where the guest can go and keep his valuables. The other small department included in front office is the bell desk which is responsible for handling baggages for the guests on their arrival or departure, running errands during the guest stay in the hotel and other petty jobs. Then there is the front office also has the travel desk. This section is responsible for making arrangements like air tickets, railway tickets, pick and drop from the airport, state railway station for the guests. And there is also a business center the person who handles the business center is known as the business center attendant and the main function of this section is to provide communication facilities to the guests like STD, ISD, email, internet, etc. 
Then we move on to the other sectors in a hotel. As we were just now discussing, housekeeping, exchanging the room status according to the needs of the guests, keeping accounts of the total, or what you call the bed sheets, etc., that is needed, security concerns, and the special guest requests that are made are sorted out by the housekeeping department. And if there is a room change, it will be organized by the housekeeping department for the guest. A hotel sometimes gets repeated customers and a customer may feel at home in a particular room and as the basic amenities is up to his choice. And this has to be looked in by the housekeeping department. Then they look into another thing that the basic amenities in each room, each washroom like shampoo, toothpaste, electrical requirements, the in-house entertainment and all are fully laid out. Not to forget the laundry and linen handling. So the housekeeping has a major role to look after the comforts of the guests who arrive. Then the production department goes in sync with the food and beverage department and as per the guesstimated number of guests, in-house guests, or any function that may be taking place in the hotel, the request that may have been made by a guest like food, diet, special diet for sick customers, purchase of raw materials, proper house count, emergencies arising, are all taken care of by the production department. Then a hotel also has engineering and maintenance department. Through the customer and also the room status has to be coordinated for prompt dealing of the problem, to rectify any plumbing problem, maintenance problem, all is taken care of by the engineering department. Security department looks after fire security like bomb threats, terrorism, diplomatic um, uh, security of dip diplomatic customers and this is job is looked into both by front office and security department. Then the sales and marketing department looks into the history of guests who have stayed in the hotel which is very valuable because this will help them to have a guest repeatedly in their hotel so also during the planning stages, forecasting and all, the sales and marketing department will assist the housekeeping and other departments so, and they work in close coordination as to what all is needed. They will make a list of the things which are needed in the hotel and give it to the, what you call, uh, production department. Stores, they're responsible for constant supply of formats, stationery, etc., which is needed in the hotel premises. So these are the major revenue and non-revenue earning departments of a hotel. And with this, we finish up the initial stage of this for topic departments of a hotel. We'll go through this more in our next class. Thank you.